So in this demo, uh, I'm going to just quickly run through how to calculate mean, variance, and standard deviation by hand. Um, variance especially will come in handy when we start talking about ANOVAs. And again, this will be something that you need to know when you get to your upper level uh, experimental classes such as measurement. So here we go. Let's say that we start with a set of, of scores for, uh, let's see, five students. We'll, we'll give those participants A, B, C, D, and E. And then let's say that their scores on a particular uh, assessment are 2, 3, 4, 2, and 1. So as I said in class, I think one of the best ways to do this is to actually look at the formula and then figure out what you actually need to, cal to calculate the, these values uh, and break it down into columns. So let me just write down the formula for um, variance first. So variance is the sum of the squared deviations from the mean where x is your score and remember in SPSS the denominator is n minus 1 so this is your variance and then to calculate the standard deviation from that you basically you just take the square root of the variance and that eliminates the square from that so these are the formulas that we're going to be working with and mainly what I'm going to do is working with the variance starting here. Okay, we're going to start by creating a column of x minus m. Okay. Well, first we'll have to actually calculate the mean. But then we'll create a, a, a column x minus m, then we'll square that column, and then we'll do our calculations. So, first off, let's calculate the mean. So if I come over here, and we're looking at, let's see, 2... 5, 9, 11, 12, divided by 5, because we have 5 scores, 2.4. So the mean score is 2.4. Okay, so we added all of these up and divided by 5. Now, here's where I'm going to start creating my columns, because I think this is the easiest way to keep track of what's going on in the formula. I know that I need up here in my formula to subtract the mean from each individual score. So that's what I'm going to do first. So this is x minus m. So 2 minus 2.4 is negative 0.4. 3 minus 2.4, 0 0.6. 4 minus 2.4, 1.6. 2 minus 0 0.4 is negative 0.4 as before and 1 minus 2.4 is negative 1.4 now the next column what we do based on this formula we've got our x minus m we need to square each individual deviation from the mean so we've got an x minus m squared column so we're going to square these 0.4 times 0.4 is 0 0.16. 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 is 0 0.36. 1.6 times 1.6, I'll use a calculator on this. Okay, 2.56. We know that this is 0 0.16. And negative 1.4 squared is 1.96. Now, this is an important part that you will need to know for your measurement class. The next thing that you do is actually sum your squared deviations. So this is something called the sum of squares. So basically, since we already have this in a column, we're going to sum this column together. So we're going to get the sum equals, and let me do this really quick.
Okay. The sum is 5.2. So that is our numerator. 5.2, and we're going to divide by n minus 1. n minus 1, so we have 5 here. n minus 1 is 4, so we're going to divide by 4. And so our variance equals 1.3. Now, going back to our formula up here, if we take the square root, SD equals the square root of 1.3, this will give us our standard deviation. And that is 1.14. So when we're calculating the standard deviation, we first calculate the mean, then we calculate the variance, then we take the square root of that, and we end up with 1.14.